hey what's up guys i am back with another video um today we are going to try to sublimate on a 20 ounce skinny tumbler uh with my mug press um so let's get started so because you know y'all know cricket has restrictions on how big you can print so we're gonna open up Silhouette Studio. All right. And open. Grab my image. And then you want to size it to the size you need. Um, and I measured the tumbler. I think it was like eight by um i think 9.25 or something like that so I'm watching my girl on YouTube, The Best Uni. Y'all go ahead to her channel and subscribe. Now, okay, got my image. And then you want to, I'm going to sublimate, so I need to mirror my image. Okay. And then delete that one. And take my mirrored image, put it back, put it over here. Now, time to print. Hopefully, I'll get a good print. If you seen my previous video yesterday, I was having trouble with my printer. My print head was clogged, but I believe I solved the problem. looks good here's my image so this is my heat press but it's a five in one so before i can sublimate the tumbler i have to attach the um the mug press attachment so let's get okay. that done this is how i attach i have to turn it this way because i don't have very much workspace like very very little workspace I have to almost turn this joke where well, I do. I have to turn it all the way around like this. Disconnect this. And then take my mug press, put it up here, and attach it. Make sure it's tight. Cut it on. Spin it back just a little bit to set my temperature. Program. Wait, I'm gonna set it to three seventy-five or. Twenty seconds. All right, just wait on it to heat up. I'll be back. Okay. I forgot to tell y'all to um make sure you turn your uh paper the orient change the orientation on the um before you print from portrait to landscape and these uh where to go. don't know oh right here these are the measurements that I use 
I know it's too big, but you know, rather be safe than sorry because the first print I printed was too short. Tumblers I'm going to use are these. I got them from Amazon. It's a two pack. I didn't want to buy from like um, Heat Press Nation or something like that um, until I knew whether or not I could do it. So, tumbler comes with a straw. And, so I had already taken it out and wiped it down with alcohol and stuff. So, it's good to go. Got my mug taped up. Probably use 37 rolls of tape. <laughs> so now take a piece of butcher paper to it because you don't want the um, ink to come off onto your um, thing, mug press walls. So let's tape that up real quick. Now this doesn't have to be as neat because it's on the outside, but when I overcut, so I'm going to go around, put the excess off, which I really didn't have to do that, but I did. So, here we are. Here we go. So, first, I need to make sure it's going to be a tight fit. I'm going to turn it, turn it, turn it, tighten, tighten, tighten. You don't realize how much space your mother first takes up until you need to tighten it down to fit a tumbler. That's a lot. Look at that. That's ridiculous. All right. So now we're going to put it in. Let's see, tape side down because we're going to have to do several presses. Still feels a little loose. And then. Hit my timer. I think I'm going to do like 30 seconds or so for each side. I might do a little more than that. I don't know. But. We gonna see. I can see it. Y'all can't see it. The timer. So. Let's hit that to stop it. And then we're gonna rotate it all the way around. Tape side up. Put it back in there. Hit the timer again. So I had to put my gloves on now because the next um, thing I'm gonna have to do the other end, and of course the first end is gonna be extremely hot, so you don't want to touch that without your heat protectant gloves. Okay, take it out, flip that bad boy around, we're going to do tape side up, stick it back in there, start the timer, we got to make sure we speed this whole little thing up, mm -hmm. 30 seconds, I don't even know if that's enough time, because when I do my mugs, I do... Um, I 
think like 120 seconds or something, which might be too much, but that's what I do. And they come out perfect every single time. All right. Let's turn it tape side down. And I'm not putting this in all the way to the other edge because I want to make sure I get a good solid press all the way across. And I do see the image coming through the butcher paper. So that's a good sign. So how was y'all day? What'd y'all do today? I didn't do anything. But wait till 8.30 at night to decide to make a video. Hung out with my dogs and my kids. Okay. Yeah, see? I can see the image. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. But I can see it through the um, tape. Ideally, you want to let it cool. But I'm hard-headed. So, and I'm anxious to see if it works. So I'm just going to pull this off. Be careful if you're using a weeding tool or anything sharp that you don't scratch your mug or scratch your image. Look at that. Can y'all see that? It's coming through. Quite nice. Let's turn this on. This tape on. Okay. Let's see. Let me take a peek. Ooh. Y'all can't see me. I just looked at y'all and y'all can't even see me because I am so off camera. My son is holding the camera. Uh oh. There we go. Y'all see This bad boy is hot. You hear me? I think I take the lid too well. Take this joke up like four knots. All right. Ooh, see that? Oh, that's pretty. They go to the seam, which is fine. So I didn't have it tight enough at the bottom. Look at that. Or at the top. So I got to do better about taping it up next time but other than that i think it turned out great this is going to my friend kelly she always always test out new stuff with her but overall i think it did good for my first try so that's it guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe Thank you guys for watching my video and I will see you on the next one.